Hello YouTube, Nick Pomfret here from Pomfret's Pythons. I'm just going to show you our snake rack build of a new professional type snake rack. Um, since last week, when I showed you the uh, prototype, we've put another level on. The bottom ones here we've got 433 litre tubs. And we're going to have 12 50 litre tubs above them. So we're going to have a total of 16 tubs. Uh, we've only currently got 8 snakes. I was thinking the 33 litre tubs at the bottom for cater for 4 males and 12 females in the 50 litre. Currently we've only got 2 males and 6 females so potentially we could double the amount of snakes that we keep once this rack's finished. As you can see, there's air holes here, so that when the, the 50 litre tub slides in, there's, there's air access to it, instead of drilling holes in the side of the tubs. And the heat mats, I've got a fabricator to make me all this steel, and I've got the box section in the hallway, and I'm going to start cutting it to, to length. The heat mats are spray glued with contact adhesive and bonded onto the bottom, the underside of this plate. The plate then just drops into the back part so when we put the next section on the 50 litre tub will slide in and the bottom part of the back of the tub will slide above the steel where the heat mats glued to steel being a good conductor of heat it should get to a really good level and obviously this gets plugged into the thermostat so we'll go down into the hallway now and I'll, I'll set up the saw and start cutting the steel. I've set the saw up in the hallway to do the fabricating and the cutting of the steel. Uh, we've got these lengths of box section to cut to size. I've had to put the snake rack in the, at the top of the stairs on the landing so that uh, there wouldn't be enough room in the snake room to build it. Um, so I'm, I'm now going to cut the uprights. We need four uprights at 214 millimetres. I'll just get the glasses for measuring it and for safety reasons to stop the steel, hot steel flying in my eyes. So I'll now measure the 214. Just plug the saw out so that I can line the blade up with the mark. Clamp it down in the exact place. Plug it back in. Proceed to cut all the lengths and then come back and update you. Right now I've cut all the steel for the next level and laid it out over here. That's basically the, the formation we need it in. These are the plastic connectors so that we're now going to connect all the sections together. Like so. Ok, 
Yeah, that's the frame made up. So now we're going to get this sheet steel ready to be pop riveted onto the frame. But before we do that, we've got to degrease it. This is, this stuff's coated with grease um, just to keep it from the elements. So we need to get that grease off for obvious reasons. And to do that, I've got this spray degreaser. So all I'm going to do is use this degreasing solvent to completely clean the steel. Can you see look what's coming off it? Okay, I'm, I've now built the frame. Measured it equally from each side to centralise the drawer slides. Butted them up to each other in the centre. I'm now going to drill through these pilot holes into the box section frame. 3.5 drill. And then I'm going to secure everything together with 3.2 millimetre rivets. I've already put four rivets in place to drill them just to keep everything where it should be whilst I, I drill. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put I'm, all the holes have been drilled and riveted. This is the final rivet that I'm putting in, and then we'll carry it upstairs and see if it all fits together. So far so good, this will now need knocking, it's flush. It's not going down. The rack has now been completed. We've got four 33 litres for the mills at the bottom, and we'll have 12. We've got 12 spaces for the females. Potentially, we've only got eight snakes, as I said before, but um, I'm in the process of cutting the grooves. 
in the in the tubs and slotting them in and then I will put slots in all these and the snakes should be in the new home by weekend I'm about to uh, put the contact adhesive on the heat mat and then I will spray the contact adhesive onto the steel plate that the heat mat is going to be glued to. The contact adhesive needs to dry and then when it's touched onto both surfaces it will glue against itself and a permanent bond will be formed. That will now be permanently bonded. Hello YouTube. As I promised, the rack's now finished. Just in time for Christmas. So the snakes are spending Christmas in the new rack. So we've got 12 50 litre really useful boxes and four 33 litre really useful boxes. The idea is for the males to be in the bottom, so we've got two males at the moment. They're in the bottom two. We've got eight females, so we've got plenty of spur racks uh, to expand. I'll just show you one of the females. It's a lot easier for me to feed them and, and clean them than taking the rub out, putting it on the table and clipping the lid every time. So we're really pleased with it. The snakes seem happy enough. Uh, anybody got any questions? Just make a comment. I hope you had a good season last year and I hope everybody has good season next year. Nick Pomfret signing out. Merry Christmas from Pomfret's Pythons.